Rubicon build number eight continues. So now I'm ready for, I'm gonna back the foam cores, the half cores into the molds. So this build, um, because the trailing edge area is so thin, uh, what I've done is, uh, in previous builds, I've actually had to sand down any any heavy material that, that's gone all the way to the trailing edge. So <clears throat> I've worked out that I need a maximum material weight of, of 250 GSM. So that's including the veil cloth. So uh, what I've done is I've left veil cloth here and I've got veil cloth and... Um, carbon there you can see the glass stops there there's a heavier glass it stops there and veil cloth and carbon there no problem right except the perforated plastic the, the breather plastic like the bread bread bag film first time ever stuck to the laminate I couldn't believe it so consequently Trying to remove the laminate, sorry, trying to remove the perforated plastic from this area of veil cloth. There's no material, no meat there to sort of keep it keep it rigid. So consequently, it's actually lifted the skin off the mold. So happy days. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to vac the foam, vac vacuum bag the foam core right to the edge so that'll give at least some rigidity for the skin otherwise uh, I could join this and, and release it from the wing and it'll be all buckly and ripply and wavy and horrible so I put a vacuum oh sorry vacuum the core the foam core under that and then bring that down to uh, level and hopefully that will be enough to um, It'll be enough to keep it stiff so it's not deformed when I take it out of the mould. Live and learn again. Maybe two layers of lighter carbon or a perforated plastic film that doesn't freaking stick would be nice. Anywho. So here, oh, what I was going to show you. Do I still have it? Stand by. I'll just come back over here and grab the... Oh, it's not there. What did I do with it? Oh, there it is over here so this was one of my templates so it lines up with the um, the holes basically flange holes there and there and what that does is it just gives me somewhere to locate you know when you're under the pressure of getting everything into the vac bag having this just you just drop this into the holes and it gives you somewhere to uh, line up the, the hinge material, flip it over and do the other side. So that's, uh, that's worthwhile. Alright, oh that's long enough, three minutes, alright, over and out.